Honorable Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your God who gave us this We thank you for organizing this conference. We have had a lot of things so far. And there is yet a lot more that we want us to be able to understand. We want us to set our minds, our minds, our bodies, our time, our will. We want us to strength that we need to capture each and every ray of life that you want to give to each and every one of us. Thank you, Father, for you hearing us and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, uh, we start where we are starting all the time, how important are these issues. Now, as never before, we need to understand the true science of education. If we fail to understand this, we shall never have a place in the kingdom of God. So, it can never be overly emphasized and cancelled in the church. The highest sense, the work of education and the work of redemption uh, one. We are talking about mothers of redemption and mothers of salvation. Alright, so we are going to cover basic principles for all ages, 0 through 16, 18, even above. So those are the things, those are the ages we are going to work with. Especially Okay, so we are going to look at the basic principles for teaching. So I'm only when we go to the one, two, three of homeschooling. And it's the one, two, three issues. Now they need to be clear. We start going with the three things on the need to be Yeah. In this topic we'll cover tangible experiences, the how to outside the home. Those are things like farming, building, music, video work, cooking, even missionary. So we're going to mainly have what composes of a whole human being besides the, the mental area. Right now, that we are our school system, many times it only covers the mental side of the person. But I want to look first at the, the other needs the person needs to End up facing when you could have a robot in sitting on it, and I'm being even at the wedding because it was somewhere around there. I'm not so intimidated to fight the joint, but then you need to balance the man. I am in a tight situation, sit up both and you find what the spirit of prophets also encourages and advises on how we can handle around that area. To everything, there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. It is Genesis 3, verse 1. Murungu, I can do no mebo. And he said a time. Time started from the beginning, and time also has an ending of this earth, and then there will be time eternal. Neumon to Kumati, when does time for what start? See, John. If I am for me in a general room, how I deal with my kids or any other person who comes in my home, the principle is everything starts the minute you open your eyes. Or the minute your brain starts getting sound. So in the basic framework of school or of life, we say you start school from the moment you wake up. For a child, from the moment the child is conceived, school what? Starts. Because Mwana, even at conception, Amamba, by the time we have four to five months, he has a what? Has developed. That's why in Mutzani Pari Anaena, once they are born, if one parent says, shh, the child will follow the son. We experienced that with our first child. The minute she was born, she cried so hard, the minute he took her in and spoke to her, she kept quiet. So the minute conception starts, school for the child begins. And a higher double dose of school for the mother also what? Begins. And also, to everything there is a season and there is a purpose. We can understand this in two ways. Well, the season is already there. Or for you to do anything, you must create the season, you must create the time. 
Because there is no such thing as Buddhi, there is a certain time for homeschooling, as in, in, in the school. There is a certain time. When you start having a child, somehow you will lose your child. It can also imply, as you plan your day, as you plan your activities, you create the child. You create the seasons which you want to experience in your homeschooling journey. When do we now begin uh, to discipline? The moment the child begins to choose his own will and way, mm -hmm. that moment his education and discipline is to begin. This may be called an unconscious education. It is then that a work cautious and powerful is to begin. The greatest version of this work necessarily rests on the mother. She has the first care of the child and she is to lay the foundation of an education that will help the child to develop a strong and symmetrical when well should we discipline? You know, the world is slowly catching up. I should say, the world is slowly catching up. My principles are very good. This world is now beginning to slowly catch up. There is a way called discipline. Now, the way we say just discipline, the first thing that comes to the mind of you know, the children, they are thinking of the whip going behind their back. That, this is discipline. We should make a difference between discipline and punishment. Okay? Discipline will come with what we do. That's discipline. Now, the world is beginning to learn that, you know what? We need to have our children disciplined. Because so even as an adult, even in the workplace, but no Bible and we look to this together to talk, they say, you know what? What you really need is discipline. And that is an issue that is being repeated now. Now, what you really need is discipline. It's not so much having great skill, great money, great opportunities, that is discipline. If you look at the people who have been successful in this life, whether here in Malawi or outside the country, one thing you are going to see in their story, a way of discipline. I remember one in the video when I told them that, oh, I want to do things on my own, I want to start doing things, whatever, whatever. And I was a subject, but be careful with the money. You are simply telling me, be discipline. In simple language. So it's not so much left or right. So I have a long I'm very good instructor. You know what? For your child, the moment the child begins to choose his own will. In other words, as small as I energy power, they can begin to decide what they want, left, right. When they say by that time you should already begin to instill discipline in this child. I carry one who go so low. Now how you administer that or how you achieve that? My work, my punishment, my patience, to my encouragement, to my challenge. All that you want to achieve that the child should be disciplined. So discipline is an element which God had foreseen in the years before and what all of us have started. They know which things to pull, they know which buttons to press, and they will realize that if they'll have it, they'll relax on it. Because I'm aware that the reaction of your face, which is I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, right? You'd find that some mothers, they'll prefer to manna in a three months or so, a parent or a parent or a parent or a parent. The reason they'll say, manna and a what then happens is it creates um, a schedule that the child gets used to. But he fails on his bundle, which I do not do that If you try anything earlier than that time, the child will protest. And if the child protests, unfortunately, many a times the mother falls into say. 
But when you read the council, I even, I forgot what the quotation says, but it talks of what it that move to change the one of the two things. Asante will be the I'm a bona. You'd rather have your child speak the message than be the church because you don't want to be a bona. So when they are not used to the environment of praying, worship, and work, even a change of my I'm a bona. What else happens is, Mana, even during family worship, something happened, Mana Maria, or I'm a bona. That's the only time we can The rest of the time, we can do it. Why? I'm trying to do it. 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 You have to, to, to be able to help that. That's where prayer comes in. That's where the issue of this prayer comes in. Many of them are not going to be able to do it. What you need to do is to do it. You start with the young people because they will not know and understand what you mean. So, at the conception of the child, once the child faces the world, discipline and order, guess what? Just to begin. Alright, so we'll talk about this age group of 0 to 8 years. This is the younger ones between 0 and 8 years. How do we teach them? What do we teach them? What, how should we strategize ourselves for this younger uh, grouping? Um, school, my name is Mokamu, so they only take the academic side. That's what I say. But in the home setup, I say that you tell them to school begins the time they come. All right. So at my name, I school. All school starts the moment the child, what? Wakes up. What are they supposed to do when they wake up? The first thing the parent is supposed to do with the child is devotion. Personal devotion with the child. Why? You are training the child to learn to have time. Bayeka. Agamakula, they will start devoting themselves to what? To God. So, mwana akazuka. Irrespective of it, by the time mwana akazuka, iyo na yotu wazuka kari, wapangazai weyo. You've already prayed for yourself. You've already set the tone for the day. And then you switch with it. Then from then on, you move on to what? To family worship. Then the day begins. Right. Uh, child guidance, page 300, paragraph 1. The children should not be long confined within doors. Nor should they be required to apply themselves closely to study until a good foundation has been laid for physical development. Agudi ana asama karitse within doors. Until a physical framework has been developed. It means that the first thing you develop in the child is not the mental. From the quotation, it's giving an impression that it's the physical. It mm -hmm. has to go first before the, men the mentor should follow. For the first eight or ten years of a child's life, the field or garden is the best schoolroom, the mother the best teacher, nature the best lesson book. Even when the child is old enough to attend school, his health should be regarded as of greater importance than the knowledge of books he should be surrounded with the conditions most favorable to both physical and mental <coughs> growth. You see, the council here is saying, for the first eight to ten years of a child's life, I wouldn't tell you when present is in his, the very first years between zero to eight, zero to ten of a child's life, I would say the child should not be confined too long into a schoolroom. Okay, I would say the field or the garden is the best school. As a color with more time outdoors than indoors. In Mugona now, I can I pass a caramono. I'm sure you've noticed that. The moment you say break, you don't give to life is good right now. I've because that's where by nature God would have them outside there. 
Inside here is come and tell your jeba, more time should be out there. So the very same thing at home. Why are they the going out there does something to their physique? It develops them physically. They are able to run, the, the motor skills, they want, that's why they learn them. Komagudi don't confine the child for too long within classroom doors. I know this sounds very radical to our education system. Talking about an eight-year-old, but I think tamanga tamanga but just like you're wasting a lot of time. When I mean by that time, name of Pusa Zambini Mbini, but the council is saying, leave the child to spend more time outdoors than you just confine the child within the doors. And the mother is the best teacher. Now let me highlight another item here or another element which is important. From zero to eight to ten years, especially the first three, zero to four, five, those are the formative years. The time many character now Jama Kariobanga Tivero. Now where do you want to be as a mother in that frame of time? God is saying you need to be there. The time Kamba Sobano you're going to teach the child how to do a devotion. You're going to teach a child how to, how to relate with God. You, that's the time you are instilling your values that you have learned from the word of God to your child. It's when they are that small. So by the time they are reaching 8 to 10, they wouldn't wear my instructions. From that time, 10 years old, the councils will continue to say, now you can say, I think Antoine Sobano can help me if you must in the management of the child. But the issue here, the, the burden, is the very first years of the child. It is best for our children to be in their mother's care. Because mm -hmm. that's the time they are forming character. That's the time, I would even the health of that child. As a mother, you need to take note of it. And you're not even checking what's going on with the health of the child. Yes. Actually, what happens is, a Ramati field or garden, it is, it is expected to be a good thing. Why? For the physical body, there are certain bacteria that are necessary for the child to get from the soil. They build the immune system. That is necessary. It builds the system. I don't know if Dimarwandi certain plama kama certain bacteria that enter the body through the child touching the soil and playing with the soil. So those bacteria now when they enter the body senses with dimarwa bacteria then the body builds up an immune. Kuti bacteria kapena ndo ipa yota matani amapanga fight. Mozawane anambiri who don't play with soil who don't do anything that has to do with soil. Aga gunda nandi doti amara. I'm by my infection, I'm a daughter and sang, I'm a dad. Because their immunity is not used to each into you. It's the same maintenance in the COVID room. The restriction was not supposed to, to keep us away. It was supposed to put into the bank expose. That way, in my immune system, I'm a bank of boost to one bit. She forty, I'm a man of the viral and so forth. So, mana, I'm a man of the COVID Mungati mapa so vala kuchapa then find special clothes uta katuka kudoti kwa kiku. Akamada, you will not be bothered by it. But then you know kuti at the end of the day, mwana wano watinga chumwechiri shuwe nira patubibaki. Alright, uh, let's continue. We are talking about the age group of these little uh, tiny human beings. Not confining them too long in too much confined spaces. But one thing you are going to see as well, um, I find the gospel to be interesting. In Chijawa, I like to say, What do I mean? They're saying the best environment for a child are kind of outdoors, in nature, this way, and all these things. For you to place a child in that particular environment, where exactly should you be? You begin to, it will begin to beg a few questions. They're not really getting the exposure that is necessary for them uh, to get. We, we check again from Child Guidance, page 302, paragraph 1. Do not send your little ones to school too early. The mother should be careful how she trusts the molding of the infant mind to other hands. I believe the mother should be what? Should be very careful. Because when the child is very small, okay, you are, you are trusting this one to the molding. And it's molding. 
The morning at Zulunich, whoever is uh, educating your child is discipling your child. A woman is either to follow Christ, follow the world, a woman is disciple. And you and me, let's be honest, uh, we, most of us went through public school. Our teachers in the early days, they discipled us. Some habits is many old in Azul, you, know, you don't know what some of these concepts, where did you get them from? Because some of them are alien to your, to your parents. And yet, the child was dedicated to these individuals. Could I come back and the mind and the character of the child? And don't be in this habit of sending your children to school too early. Well, but nobody's man figure like so. You know, it's an in thing. Eh? When I get like a tooth, I get like a cousin. They go come back. Hey, this Mahona, they go Einstein, Kabebe genius. And known to you, you are mumula gira mana ojo. Wambiri, because it's not just about the A B C. Come the danger. God is giving here is that person is molding the mind of your child. Child guidance, paragraph two. Many mothers feel that they have no time to instruct their children in order to get them out of the way and get rid of their noise and trouble, they send them to school. And this is absolutely true. Absolutely. We look at our children in this day and age as Chubezri Sambuyo. Especially when I'm a video of a degree, I'm a one education and which I'm a very support. Because when you need a degree, my career is better. But again, I'm a very man. I'm a very so good. I need to go out there and do my career and be recognized in the world. I've done great things. I'm a very so good. Now, because of that, you want to do other things. Ah, how do I get rid of this child? I'm sorry, but that's the reality which the testimonies are saying. Whether unknown to you is selfishness, really. You're saying, you know what? How do I get it? No, Mama Banga, my son, how do I get rid of her? Besides, I don't make I want to make sure my my two gen, my two uh, ammunitions do not face the ground too quickly. They should be looking forward. So you make sure what do you know what? What do I do about this? I think the best way, this has passed more than three months. I mean, you got three months. We're trying to run away from our own children. That's why we Then why did you have the child in the first place? You should have considered what does it imply? What does God require of you and me? But unfortunately, without prior thoughts. Without prior consideration. But being a parent is work. But unfortunately, for us to run away or to get rid of their noise and their trouble, we send them away to school. Especially like Mafika 2. Mighty 2. Like Mafika Zaka Zwiri, I'm a figure, but in the end, because at that time, Timamoda skills did develop. I'm a Tamanga, where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the school. It's a problem. Mistake. Many mothers, you make this mistake. During the first six or seven years of a child's life, special attention should be given to its physical training rather than the intellect. After this period, if the physical constitution is good, the education of both should receive attention. Infancy extends to the age of six or seven years. Up to this period, children should be left like little lambs to roam around the house and in the yards and in the buoyance of their spirits, skipping and jumping, free from care and trouble. Hmm. I would say up to the age of six or seven. How many infant? are less than seven years old in here? Can I see the hands that you can tell me? Seven years old. Yeah. Seven years old. To my infant, How old are you? Oh, Miss is an infant as well. How old are you? Hey, yes, Miss is an infant. I can kind infant. I got some kind infant. I would say they are infants. But many of the world has told us would be kind infant in case of the guy. Okay, Miss. Some material. Some many monomer would have got an infant. Do we walk along? At my infant. Ah, ooh, ooh. That's an infant right there. I wouldn't see any. I did a row. Muslim person, but I'm some more finger. Muslim, I say, We are a little bit of a dream. We sometimes we make our children grow too quickly. 
Zeka siki saba asindue mtu wangu wa mtu mtu wangu we expecting the world from the child and no let the child roam like 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 a lamb adumperumbe atani you see all these things are going to the same direction it is to develop their physical well-being that's where all these things are going mm-hmm. Kama izizoni moyo wa town ndiku mauzana azikuti ana zingo kala chochi akagwira kanthu ndi TV game eh asiwe TV game akamala TV game phone akachuka pepa ndi pa phone akamaza pepa ndi basi akatuka panje yasakalidze panje akagwira ngali moto kupita uku that's why we are in a, di- a generation that is diseased bano bana sa kuti sa kuti ka kuma kuma clinic koko the child has an infection no has an infection and some of the prestige said my child has an infection so the, it sounds very prestigious so if end and to kuka we we meet my problems and to kuka but if you really look at it carefully god did not intend that our children should be their physical constitution should be so feeble because we don't allow them outside to breathe fresh air atamange nature i say where tungofuna zingokhala confined in classrooms and the doors and in manyumba and not giving them a chance ana that their physical constitution is not developing that is what is emphasized here komaso from experience of dealing with kids ana kama bwera ku school ari anyone the first two weeks they are traumatized they cry they scream they will do anything to go home koma sizitani siziteke eti kholo wabweretse wabweretse eti so what then happens is you have they have mood swings and that is very common koma unfortunately as upon sadine nai the time i ran a school i would call the parents and say lelo liloka dzatenge ni mwana wanu muka hagane i will not keep up with the child the child is not okay inde nama ndikonda ifondi nempunzake but i am not the mother of the child the child wants you so please take a day off from work do whatever you can but come get the child so what would then happen is people parents would switch we na mabwera madzi ni masito dzira kuti kuti wiki inoi uina uyu wiki inoi siti mvana ai chifa ofuna mai yake Wina wiki ya mama sapa ngaso chani chimodzi modzi ata tsika ngali moto ngkhala pa konde du saya nkhula satan why the child is yearning for the mother it's like the child of fusa fuso kodi ne mukunthamangitsira nje kunyumba i can't stand this environment and worst most baby schools teach academics mwana makapita wapunza a b c d ndiye akamaka nika ama kumana mwana ndi apunzi kuti akumuka dipire and so forth Yes, there are naughty corners, there are so many things that happen to the child. But my if it's a, maybe the way I ran mine was, well, let them play. We only do devotion in the morning. We all play and roam around. When we are done playing, we all find ourselves in the garden. When we are done that, we find ourselves in the kitchen. So while we are doing those things, we are talking about the letters. We introduce one letter per week. So it's done in a way kuti mwana uja can relate to 40 Sari restricted to say here's the paper start writing letters you and you find some mothers even they are mwana wanga akanika kupanga kala inside the circle yes they will not color inside the circle because in tayo sina ran sina kwane so it's like you're pushing the brain to do what it's not ready to do or to experience nde we need to understand kuti mwana ntai zambiri kuvuta au pesa kuti akuvuta nokutsogoro si chinaye it's because the child felt neglected and felt kuti mumanditaya mumafuno kuti ne ndipite okuko nkomwe nkomwe akula kuru sikuli mata imakomba imafika potopetsa ndiye nzana kuyamba square ndi zaka 3 pomwa dzafikire degree momwe ayambira school system it is not a fun thing to go through but it should be administered at the right age okay so there are a few mm. pointers here we may need to consider yeah You may want to consider it as a mother at every stage of life that you go through with the child seasons change times change so you need to create a schedule that you'll be able to follow it, it may not be at the exact time but it will guide zomwe udzichita pakhomo pako it will help you to keep a float of things and you should not overwhelm yourself and also you need to manage yourself do little things but be effective 
I liked quotation you made now wearing. I think I have screenshot of the one who did. Ngati mbare zugu soko neza ingo zisia. Ngati nchito kuchurukira ingo isia. But play with your child. So it means in your calculations of time, make sure that three quarters of the time you are with your child, you are playing. You are not overwhelmed. And use nature of visible things inside and outside the home. So make the time fun. How? Ntai samiti mai kata mte bumure di? Sijo nchaz mai. Mango ti mawe ndika zuka, ndi panga ichi, ndi ichi, ndi ichi, ndi ichi. Zimene zoso ntai zambi uma wanika tusuku zulo ndora. But it is always, always good to write down. I'll give an example of myself because I can't. Sindi ankura theory, ndi ankura practical. I have, okay, my girls are older now. They do personal devotion on their own. ABC Adventist Bookshop has these books. So when they are done with their devotion, they have also personal journals. Adesa Marimba, Zumwa Ganiza. If they are younger, we say let them draw. So buy a journal for your child. A draw a jambule, even in charity, not bad, it is important. A jambule, for others, a kamamba, they express themselves by drawing. They can't express by writing. Ngatale mbe jibirish, zisieni. You know, it's good to zisunga, because those are treasures. And you see the progress of a child as they grow. So, what do you then do? Masa na bide varali. Anomsa wa mwe wawa. Aga wale nga devotion, na kaya Jesus was in a board. Ndama mwja mbula Jesus wa woyo. Una kantengo kena yeka mwutu juo nchindi wa zona kanga di board. Ndiyo kama kafuso juu shiti ka panchani. Owa kuna Jesus was in a board. Now, that's her expression of what she has understood from the devotion. But the point is, you want to train comprehension. Jimeno wa jimvajo express it. Jimeno wa jimvajo express it. Malibu na zaka mwenani eventually, they began to start right majibrish to meru kumata amba kulembe, kata amba kutuo, nolo yi kakata ntua jamba kulembe. Kena kwa hii eventually, ah, zamba kulembe kazolongo soka. Hii ipa na nuzika na kuzwane kulembe kuno mwino. Hii zama wene nga apapazi, some of the stuff they are writing, mwena Bible study, whatever. Kutuwa ni mbani jodie mwena kata ujui renga, or even an adult can read, oh, this was happening here. So we cannot expect a child from zero. Kungu fikita kwa yamba kumari mba jono, eh, atuwa banka devotion. Kaka mwono nga kandambika. Kuka basa buku kalembe, wambajani, basa kanja mwono jimbe kanja mwono. Kwa in the process, aku pose it at the habit of study and chronicle. That's the issue. Alright, so for your, for you to have a plan, you need to write down. Personally, I have a planner for me. This is just for me. It will not include anybody. It will just talk about me. What do I want to do? I have personal devotion in the morning. I want to exercise. I'll do gardening. I'll do school with the kids. I'll play with them if I have the time. And then I'll have a quiet time. And those things I tick. Did I do my devotion? I'll tick. I'll even put the dates so that that's how I'd want my day to what? To move. Then I'll do my exercise. I will not tick, but I'll write why I failed and how I can what? Try to what? To improve it. So this now guides me as a person. At this point, I'm not talking, I'm not including the rest of the people. Because if I don't make a schedule for myself as a mother or as a parent in the home, I will not be able to do it. Ngati ndi kare nendu kugona nyumba paka na sisko luko. Tose tukuzugila na pamozi. It's total chaos. Ade sama isto zero. Apa apa zishitike pano. Skuru ndio tika ngatilo academic mklasi. Tua mochama 11, 12, 1. Ndetu zwa kukutente eti. Yeah, because I did not plan my day. So this helps me to follow it. And if I fail to follow it, I have a journal. I have to pray about it and say, God, apa zukundika nika. Ntai zina zima kanika, chifuwa ndi nejani, ndi ne mtu eti. So zita wandi kanika, but I write down, I plan, kutoke, what made it fail? What can I do to improve it? Then I make progress. Then from there, I have a planner now. I plan my quarter. What do we want to do in that quarter? What subjects are we doing? 
from when are we starting? Are we having field trips? So, so it's something that it's a worthwhile investment that can help you to plan your whole your whole school calendar. So at the same time, I ask my husband, when is he traveling? What what is his work schedule like, especially for his trips? And in those trips, where do I want to fit in? Then the gamati fit in the fun and the way they could go. The people AGM. Kapen, dungo zipangira trip yandeka. Yomundo funa ok, dungo funa ndipito kundiana. So by the end of the quarter, even school-wise, academic-wise, dima kanda zote. I'm trying to cover from this point to this point. By the end of our academic year, tatirapati, tatirapapa. So this now involves the kids and everyone else. And then we have, I have this one. I love books, so I buy books. This one. I only focus on the family Bible lessons, the character lessons. So I'll write the whole timetable for it for the whole 13 weeks. If it's a 13 week, I got a minute. So week one, family lesson to Punzaza trees, tree, tree more nigga banji. Nanga from there, what else am I adding to it? What's the Bible verse? What art would I want them to do? Are we drawing? Are we painting? Are we making a craft? So by the end of the quarter, so says my not does it any that's the bank. Two, it helps me write down what do I need to buy? Do I have all the things that I need? Do I have the paints? Do I have the glues? What else can I add? What else can I remove? And pen I food color craft the city dani. City Pang. Why? Because I didn't plan it around. I didn't check what do I need. And then I have another one just for academics. Math, language, handwriting, typing, all goes in here. Malemba. This one, there are times where I don't write anything. She fought in the account to go to go to event in a in and dear family. I'd rather write this thing per day. Kutirori, Dapanga, math, language, and history, and we stopped there. What did I cover in the history? What did I cover in the math? So that way, I'm a cow down to Jordan. In end of the Jongano, Kutimonga and Punzi, Sinatira party, Dinatira Papa, my spelling Sinapanga. Why didn't we do certain things? So at the end of the day, Tsikuri Gamata, I have time to reflect on myself. I have time to pray for myself. I remember a time when homeschooling in Kai Derera. So when I when a husband is not involved, I'll be honest, the wife, Amapanga, slow down. So the only time I switched the gear was when he was home. I think COVID season, he was observing. 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 He was He let me change and let me tr try to pick up. Because the minute he says, Koma tukuma gulatu zintu zindinda lama, ndenga atisimu kupanga kena kari gose, ndiyoti siti gulaso. So that changed the whole mood, okay? Muntu are interested in what is happening with his kids. Then I put on an extra gear to start having all things that I want, especially in terms of planners and journals, so that I know what, what, what I am doing for the day. But uh, may I add... Let me hold these things in my hand. Uh, Pocket manager. <laughs> and Hamrung, this is not intended to scare anybody. Whatever, no. It's an issue of trying to get our priorities right. Because the last time we were in the band, 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 we were in the if you have two children, we now go there. We now go there. Is how we will prioritize now our resources to things that will give you proper outcomes. Because and to fair, let's be frank. Drama di mavanga spent even on our own children. Can so far at this supper no zaku. We do spend, but the issue here is can we be more intentional? What did Gigi mavanga spend to achieve what? Now zinugadi zizi, as my Jesale had had commented. You know when you teach 
you get taught. My wife was not always this way. She was not always that meticulous as in whatever, whatever. Um, uh, homeschooling in Kanga, but I didn't know any better because I just wanted the homeschooling. homeschooling also It has been a process of learning for both of us. Even for me to learn and fully understand what is my role, how am I supposed to play? It's an ongoing journey of learning. However, one thing which my, my, my wife has also learned and I'm also learning is discipline. You need to have some discipline. What needs to happen? Now, it is forcing coordination between the two of us. So how do we achieve this thing? So I think it can get about homeschooling. It is not something you gentlemen, you just want to dump on your wives with your cell sofa. It's quite complicated, If you just dump it to one person. But if two people coordinate, how are we scheduling this thing? Where am I coming in? Where are you doing this? How are we doing that? It is not supposed to be unnecessarily expensive or unnecessarily difficult. Because I think it is between the two of us. in the evening. In the body, most you an element of Zojitiga which needs a lot of coordination. You parents, you must really coordinate to make sure you are achieving what needs to be achieved. Now, there is here a suggested schedule. Mwina, just an appetite, Paja Zuro quotation and in a goody attitude zilla and dinner kanga cheap, eh? Yes, as my fate. Yes. With the passage of time, Tima Sia could see Gulas of Val and this supper to Tima Gulas in the Zolongo Soka. Amen, Mr. Maguda. <laughs> yeah, so eventually, Zerudi Tima Gulas are two cars. Who do you, you know, dictated to have a good plan? Oh, do this as no. This is money. Now you spend, but you mean you go on a good name with your manga. You just saw in a GG. I didn't, I did not identify it. But I think looking at my wife, she needs a plan. I didn't identify it. What I identified was this. So I said, oh, I think my children need devotion. So I went to buy this. You understand? But she said, no, I need a planner. So she goes to the money that she has, gets it, and goes to look for a plan and buys it for herself. You know, so I was amazed. Wow, this is beautiful. If you get this thing, whatever, whatever. Then I realized, well, this thing is needed. But before she had identified the need herself, I wasn't going to notice it. So that's why it's important. You cannot wait to be able to get back and come to your and drama. You know, and drama. That's how you will fail to achieve certain things. Then as we are going to enter, and with the passage of time, the result is not going to be good. No, I think what I really need is each, each, and each, and refinement begins to come into your marriage. All right, this is a suggested daily schedule. If you are using only sunlight, it is just an idea of what you can do. You go in at 30 minutes at 6 a.m. That time, I'm talking about music, soft music, Bible reading using a CD, or iwe uta utani kumwe ringera. Sorry. Yes. So uta utani kumwe ringera, and then family worship happens at 6:30, 7 a.m. Breakfast. Normally, because if you're also having husbands who go to work. Or if you want also to stick to time, then you can stick to seven, then practical arts begin. Domestic, then you do agriculture with your kids. This is for the younger ones, by the way. You do industrial arts, hand nail, you know, chito, gati bambu ama panga za carpentry. Ndioti mwana ya ama katandizi. Ngadara mechanic, I'm a drugger so goody, Kumene Gogo. For me, I've seen in once in a while, my husband got a bit of food, did it by Fubi, I'm a jenga cigan, just to go see goody, Tawai Monica Banchi, Kayakai, where I got any, or a rapper, so I'm a good, I'm a good, I'm a good now. So that inside my schedule, you know, is ticked with it, and I pit a good chan, field trip. Sana pit and dinner, Koma Branditan, Nibambao. And then you do now the family nature lesson. During family worship, you're doing the Bible side of the lesson. You do the nature lesson. It's either you go for a walk, that has to feature in. That has to feature in. Pankani ya nature listen, simuta kuturuga.
God does wonders. I was in area 25 one season. We were learning about birds. Ndia kuti go for a walk and nyamwe mabanokula suka ni mbala amendiri. Ha! Area 25 muno. Nikazonera kuti ko ndiye ndifumbi and so so ntaya mvola. I called a friend who was in South I'm like ndiye mukuti apa ne mbala meso ndizitenga kuti mbuku tikuzona komano I can't see. Anango kuti uzila wirira between half 5 and half six, you should be experiencing mbala me mama and pray about it. So I prayed. I'll be honest, I, I saw the hand of God. Kunyimba kwa chumatila mbali meza blue, za red, za yellow, ma woodpecker ama wera in pairs. So there was everything for us to see. And I was so amazed with mulunguzi mateka. We saw a bird that my kids thought was a hummingbird. But who know a mighty sunbird because for me we did feel this is a hummingbird in atapa my roses. Ngiamba kuuluka mwampamvu mwake muja, ngumatudwa machani and the beak was long just as a hummingbird. Pana becho siana. And the girls are excited, "Mommy, that's a hummingbird." And I'm like, "Ah, I'm at Africa, could be a hummingbird. Let me search." We found out that it wasn't a hummingbird, it's the sunbird. So God, if you put an effort to it, God has a way of providing you to see those things that you need. There are some things sungadi kide kuti upezeo countryside, of which as you do these lessons, you know, the ideal place is the natural environment. We don't have many parks within our town. Ika karabotani gardens in Dukupreya Century Yama Pente. At least it was a mulunga babanga improves in and zina. You have a nature area along Bunda, Bunda Way, Kuri Zinyama. So you end up seeing that at some point you need to go see these things and take your kids along. So nature lessons are ideal. If you can't do them, if you can't see, you do them in arts. And when you do them in arts, find a season. Once a quarter, you do a field trip. Then you accumulate the what? The whole lesson. So after that... Um, Yes, you prepare for dinner, your mighty mighty lunch with the kids. It, this is I do it means you're eating three meals per day. But you can't force them into what? Into two meals. You have to manage yourself and their their needs. So you prepare the dinner, mupanga mupanga the aja, popcorns, what not, whatever is simple for you. Then you do domestic arts. So vala masha pa mwana wana te kupanga sort out my socks, ate kupanga sort out my panties zake, socks for adults, socks for children. Zo sezo, ama tawatani? Nyoti pa mifu arimu chani? Arimu class. Agriculture, mufuna mpike mwina za mazulo, kagade nikanu kajaka matea la kaja, muka chorele rimuzi. Tae zambiri mwana kazara zintweka, ama mfa kukoma. Agamashi ikulula shintucha. I remember one season our child was four, the oldest, and we had planted a garden together in area 18, in this small portion, very small. So kunemba kugwa That was the most powerful rain I've ever experienced. Mwana nadzuka around two. Mami, mami. Nah, mami, what is it? At mami, mbe uzanga. Siku fandi mvula. If it, ah, I don't think so. Ingogona. Are you sure, mommy? Can't we go see? Many of us don't read for our children. Good night, good night. Is that Sabbath? Tu wana nogatani? Kukachi. Chomwiti matandu kuzuzulana. Please create a time. 
you know, Kale, I don't know if they still do know first stage men na do say mabuanga a younger age as usual and dimagawa. So I, I gave to too many people. They have these hard, hard books. Sit down 30 minutes, read with your child. They'll sit on your laps, they'll sit on your sides, whatever happens, read. Take time to read. If you can't read, put an audio story. Amanva. Mapunzratua majority are in English. It's a learnt language. We're taught English, so we'll stick to it. We'll speak our chichewa doing everything else. Ngatipari we know that how zapanga kupanga out in Tano, Tomati Tachis and Kushika Mushiwa, we'll be very grateful for those who will not be able to stick to the English. But Nchomu Murungana Dan, Anna Lord Tosati Punzredi, it's a universal language. So at the end of the day, have time to read with each other. Kaya wearing a storybook, kaya mungo wearing a Bible, a certain verse, fair and fine. Productive play. You are the one playing with the child. Ma punzi sanazata of Babel. Build the tower together and break it together. Ma punzi razama create something. So you are playing along the lines. Zinduzomu mungu tani, mungu punzi sana. Zinduzomu mungu tani, mungu ongolana. So it becomes a productive play. With you and the child. Oh, muta kumusia kwa mumuike pari yoti mukumona kuti akusewe rajani. It's always good to kuma mvera anana akama sewe. Kwa nkani zina zuma maza ya nkuro maza dagwa na zuti si neyo nda mpunzisa zimene zizi. Indi zima kapulika muka indawe ni yake. Ndiyo maza dagwa uti mwana uyu ndi wangadi. Ndiyo ya antinyo mkwene kangati nyali ndi anano wa kuyankula mwala kuika. Antama iwala kutina nusu ndi nijani. Ndi ni antu. That is bound to happen. Then you can have your what? Your supper. So your productive play is not so long. You can also include the supper uh, during the play. You can include even the cooking in it. So that is part. You make it fun. And then after your supper, your family worship, and then bedtime. I always emphasize, if it's school season, no child should sleep after 8 o'clock. It is unfair. The body needs 8 hours of rest. As I am be eight out, no, it needs ten hours. As I am be ten hours after nine. Sizi te guy. Sikula ma pai bi jumudani mupinduri. When they sleep late and you force them to wake up early. Adzuka yinde koma zumashte sikuli mini roro. In your mutok mudaba. Why? The child, especially in younger years, cannot relate. To go to here are tired and frustrated, or to just being difficult. So in Thai Zambi, the mana gama vuda penotongo mozori kagoni get taken up. It helps the body to reju rejuvenate. Chifoto si gusa na goni remo, sana goni mo kwanira. I'm a color almost annoyed the whole day, unless you do something about it. So make sure the bedtime you stick to it, and also a family worship early for the sake of your kids. I'm a gona sanga, do it early. They comply with the rules of the house. Don't bend the rules. They are adults. They can handle it. So manage. Your first priority is your kids. Okay, I just wanted to add a bit on the productive play. For you to have productive play, you need productive toys. That's why you see with the machine gun stuff. Okay, that's why you see with some of the Jojani Babi Jan 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 Aswa Pua Pis Malwai. Okay, where does this thing fit in? So you may want to get something that is productive. Something productive. In the process. That's why it is so wrong to buy a child is in Dungarimi food. Because that one is not productive play. So we are going to go on. So we are going to produce the energy that you say here. Okay. There's also another sample schedule here. In sample schedule, I I asked my friend to send me his. This is what she was doing when her kids were between seven and eight years. If you notice it here, by four thirty she had to be up. If she wakes up anything late, but then when they get to school, she's mad mind. You know, as a mother, there are times you just want a quiet moment. And the minute you wake up, 
that's the only time you have. Because once these kids wake up, they look for you and they find you. You are, yes, you are doomed. <laughs> they want you and they will not leave you. I want to take a nap, I want to take a nap, I want to take a nap, I want to take a nap. Can I just get 30 minutes power nap? Okay, mommy, we'll be quiet. Two minutes later. Ah, sorry, mommy. You might need to say now. Kwedi tawemba kudura koto mato. Mesa ndari ndufuna kuna. Oh, sorry, we forgot. Abwerir. Ten minutes later. Ah, sorry, mommy. Can we make popcorn for ourselves? <laughs> so by the end of that 30 minutes, Uma mbezo rongo tani mungkala basi. Uta basi. Zatika nikedi. Because a child who is used to you does not stand to have time away from you. They will not. It will not happen. Even if you are going to vote, you will not. I am going to vote. I am going to vote. I am going to vote. Because they intend to see you. So as a mother, when you set your time, when you set your time, when you set your time, then you know when you set your time, when you set your time, or you set your time, when you set your time, when you set your time, when it is rare when you set your time to six. Ama zuka so early. Tulo ti matiratu. Ndipo tika mutira. Ife kwa chutika ngozi watu wina wakua kuna six kolo kwa mazuro matoka. Tima ngo konze watu four kolo kwa ye. Itake tatani? Tata. Ndi ama abwe rano nkuzao gogoda. What? I wanted to say good morning to you. Zoti wakadari ndilo sizi mutani? Sizi mkuza hai. So this was what she tried to create for her time with her kids. And I never forget that just the minute I woke up early, trying to follow what sunlight encouraged, and then she switched it a little bit. All right, you can see that the mother is also taking care of herself. So as my, it is not a virtue just to say, "No, I need my own and dear Nanga. I want to take care of my children." But you can't take care of your children if you yourself are not taken care of. So you see, there's a side where the mother is making a plan for herself. What am I going to be doing? And what am I going to do with the children? So it's very important to have that kind of a balance, then you will have success. So the grouping of zero to eight, uh, you are teaching the Bible fundamentally as the first lesson. And the family Bible lessons are there as a fundamental, because that's the very first lesson book that child needs to have. Number two is emphasis on character. From those formative years, you need to emphasize lessons that are going to deal a lot with character. Then on top of that, uh, you also need to let nature help you in the teaching of this child. So like I was showing you in the morning, uh, these Bible lessons, family Bible lessons, they have a section where you just emphasize on the character. To this week, we're dealing with temperance. This week we're dealing with obedience. This week we're dealing with this. So because character is the very foundation that you need to deal with, and deal with it first. Then nature, because they need to understand the world around them. They need to understand it. Don't be too bothered between zero to eight or zero to six. Put as easy warm, a phonics, imagine. Don't be bothered with that. Be bothered with manai. Have you introduced the Bible to this child? Have you uh, introduced what? What is character? How important is character? What are character attributes a child can aim to achieve? And that is what you should be worried about. What about nature? Does this child understand? You know, I asked you in the morning, what is a flower? And adults and young alike, we are failing to answer that question. We see the flowers, but you can't say, what is a flower? If somebody is to ask you the question. I remember when my daughter was two, uh, she had a certain video, she was, being asked, she was learning what is a tree. I don't ask again because I'm afraid I may not get the answers from the adults. What is a tree? I know you look outside and say, ah, that's why. No, that's not the question. I want you to tell me by definition what is a tree? Or what aspects does a, uh, a plant need to have that would demonstrate uh, or qualify it for you to call it a tree? So, Mr. Lostam, Lost let me teach you. That thing out there is a tree. Why you call it a tree? Number one, it stands by itself. It does not need to climb on top of something else. It can stand by itself. Number two, it is tall. It is not something that only ends here like a little carrot. It is tall. Yeah? So, and, uh, and it has a trunk. <laughs> 
if it has a trunk, that, that, that big uh, piece that is going up, that is used as a central anchor to support the framework. So it has a trunk, it is tall, it stands by itself. Then when you see that kind of a plant, you are sure this is the what? The it's tree. a tree. The other things are shrubs. You can't call those things a shrub. It's just ending up to here. You can't call it a tree. You say, no, this, this is a just shrub. This is not a tree. But when it becomes tall, trunk, standing by itself, then you can begin to say this is a tree. So when she was two years old, she was asked, what is a tree? She started reciting. It stands by itself. It has a trunk. It is tall. So that's a tree. Are you beginning to see the acquaintance now you're giving the child to nature? They begin to understand it in a more comprehensive way. And that lesson about the, the, the flower, there are more deeper lessons there to teach to the child, even as their ages are progressing. We want the child to see God yes. and to see themselves. Yes. So the only feature that God compares a tree to is the human being. To find a way, you have to go straight, stand tall, and you become a what? Tree. The way God designed the tree, you have branches and so forth. So you also have what? The veins. So I should mention as the center. And then I am an so character ya mulungu. Pashitijo? Pashimene Jojo. So we then teach, say, let's talk of one character, orderliness. You need to have order. God had order when he was creating these things. He had order to make a tree this way because this is what he wanted to achieve out of it. What can he achieve out of you? Ana tutindiana ena. Ama ende. Nde muna ndi boto ramazi. Arangona china boto watan. Wapita. Si jonjo. Nde wichi watan. Wajisia. But you have to be able to move and say, my friend, go back, go and pick up your thing. Kaike po munchi kudana watan, kukala. Or, kaike munchani, musink. So at the end of the day, the character that you're aiming at is ordering to say, no, let's put things where they're supposed to be. Even man, we need to learn to put things where they're supposed to be. Mavula masoko siyanu, chonde musasunge musapato. Ika ni mwashi mbaske utitika chape. Ki mata kui wala sunafiso watan, so the way these things end up relating, especially if the father is in charge of teaching these lessons, it will teach us all to have order in the things. Then when you apply them to the child, we also apply them to ourselves. Now you're saying the things that should bother you. Does my child understand nature? Does, does my child understand the world around them? The world will tell you, no, be worried, your child doesn't understand A, B. A, B, C is one of the easiest things in this planet. We've heard the stories of children. Anakala ama amaweda mungase. Up until Zaga 13. Anadide mpato mpita kuskulu. But at 13, that's when they enrolled mpito kaya school. Within a year, mana was just top of the class. But they only had one year to go into a classroom. Why? Because the brain now is what? It's ready. And the physical uh, composition of the child is ready. This is my PCDs. This is so quick it out. This is my cellular. But it's only when the brain is ready. In Ghana, most of us here, Monali, you're struggling with school in your first years. For me personally, it was only until I reached form two. That's when I begin to, I began to see now one plus one, two plus two. Number mum won't answer that. Oh, what is school in your sangala? Say then, people say they say, imagine you move bongla get a three book. I didn't understand what that meant. But I became an overnight genius because now. My brain was mature enough now to interpret what was going on. All of a sudden, I became a genius student. But the history so going back, look at I was not my table anywhere near a genius. genius. But because I was just young and immature and, and underdeveloped. So, there are no examples of what would have been a classy. Alan to a good So, ABCD is not the real issue. But does a person have the right character? Actually, let me go back slightly. I'm speaking as a homeschooling parent. But I'm also speaking as a professional. I also work in the professional sectors. One thing which people are now looking for is not your CV, is not your degree, it is this word over here. I will tell you the truth. I'm an employer myself. I, I have people under me who have employed, I do interviews and all these things. 
People are not looking for that degree to say you, you are in A class. You go to class A or whatever. That is nonsense now. People are saying, does this person have character? Now you begin to see that the world is slowly catching up to what the God had already said. God said you need discipline. The world is slowly catching up. You need discipline. Now when you are saying we need to employ character, people, when they are, the things they mention about a person, the person needs to have uh, discipline, they need to have this, all the things they are going to mention, if you summarize them into one word, the big bosses are simply looking for character. So that's in the professional world. Now, if a homeschooled child goes into this kind of environment, and what they really want is what? Character. Do they have a chance or do they not? They have. Are you beginning to see the wisdom of God? But somebody's telling you, no, you need to be worried about these other things. The other things don't worry about them. Jimena and Thomas Jeter excel in the workplace is character. And attitude. Yes. 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 Exactly, that's what happened. Exactly. exactly. If you we have our own testimony with our daughter Nozagani here. Before we knew better, now first we are learning it, we are not standing here as being there, done that. So there was a time when the mother was so anxious about letters and the numbers and what when she was very young. That is too easy. Let's say 5,400 and minus 4,000. In seconds, then, ka, 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 that this is too easy. The rule is too easy, they wrote it. Why is simple? Because the mind now has developed. It is able now to see these numbers and begin to make sense of them. You say, I'm going to go five or so. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. So, when we knew better, do you is it as a scene, guy? Let's focus on character. Let's focus on these other things. language, how to speak, and all these things. You begin to see some, some of these things. Like some of us, we read the hard way. No, no, no. I think my numbers are taken again. But to have this at a later stage. Actually, it's better late than early. Don't panic. As exactly. So it's not about oh, the yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the emphasis on the book education of the physical, mental, mental. spiritual, the harmonious development. You know, we cannot overemphasize this enough. develop in harmony. Right now, the brain is developing itself. It's getting itself ready to go into war. Deuteronomy 5, verse 13. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Yes. Psalms 104, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. Now we are mainly focusing on the physical development. Maybe before we go there, I can give a short testimony on saying, How did I start homeschooling? So there was a friend who came to my life from Zimbabwe. Day I met at church, I observed how she was dealing with her kids. When people baby class, when people start feeding their kids, she would go out with hers. And I got fascinated. And I got inanangasamaya in between meals. Because that's how I'm raising them. So I can't afford to go send them class. So 
to help them resist that temptation, first, I would rather go out. So I became friends with her. Then I noticed with Anna gets up out of school, and I'm like, so what do you do with your kids? Says, I homeschool. I'm like, oh, you homeschool? Can I come to your house? Says, no problem, come. So she gave me a specific time. homeschooling. Come at this time. Say, come at 10. I went to her house. She was using Mabuka Minti Magwisa for AY, the little lamp, Ega Beaver, and the quarterly. That's what she was using for what? For homeschooling. And started what? Applying it at home. Because if you see the little lamp curriculum, they're expecting your child to know colors, to know letters, to know numbers. But the how you do it is not told. So you end up forcing because you want to tick that achievement class. So the, to the greater part, what we enjoyed more with the, the girls was the activities. You may make beginner class and the kindergarten class. You may make Monday do this, Tuesday do this. So that was putting in a balance. Because the minute we started doing A, B, C, they were always war. Until somebody came again and said, Kodi ya homeschooling, try sunlight. Ine nkuti sunlight in chani. Ata ingo cheka pa gugu. In a Google Naka Pesa Sunlight winner, worth five hundred dollars a book pack. By the end, Kutu Tenge is also the whole curriculum sits around one thousand dollars. In Indukuti in days, this is city Kwanita forty, Nama ye, or in Kamia Niba Matumisi Utani, see Kuguira. They said, No, that's not the one, there's another one on Google. That's how we got introduced to what? To this sunlight. And that time, you know, Zekani was four. This sunlight. So what I enjoyed the most for me, what I found is, was the nature lessons because I was already kind of like acquainted with doing activities with the child. So what did I do with the academics? I switched. I found somebody doing Montessori. Montessori teaches in a way So you, you're doing letter A. You find toys that start with letter A. You find uh, things that start with A. You play cooking, cooking something that starts with letter A. So at the end of the day, it's like there's something to do for the whole week, but using what? One letter. So I found that one to be easier. You can buy your letters and stick on the fridge. fridge. So they find something to play with, they play with the letters and so because they are magnetic. So that thing was interesting to the child. So we switched, I switched from pushing the child to saying, let's relax, let's do it as if we are playing. And that way, uka churako letter T, T for table, uka mpeza mutaripa super table. Mami, T for table. I'm under the table. So the child started saying, okay, now we are playing. This was more fun. And we stopped writing because I had forced introduction. Who was not using true education but was teaching kids way at home. So they just transferred the school from a kindergarten school and brought it away home. And I just went and took that and brought it away home. But when we switched to Montessori, I think God allowed it that way. Could he switch to this one? It will help you make it easier. Because sunlight, before you start teaching, has a course for you to do. And to print that course as well, it needs money. For me to print it, a minimum not cost set in denial was a miracle. Somebody just came to my house and said, I have 300 pages, 500 pages, I have a printer. And I said, ah, my man, do in it, we did print a kunyimba yangu kala. We did po inkre inkwa kwa kara so three months, four months ago we ran chido. Did you go pata ni mugu di ten chido? Mungo gula ma paper. So I went to buy a rim, two rims of papers. I printed. It was a laser jet printer. I printed. Do kuti inki sindi maiza kuti olagata. Sangate, because ana panga underestimate the volumes. Cartridge inata, anati ya tandukuti ehiata, ati nduku patanina mprinti esozina. 
So God blessed me to be able to print these things when I did not have a printer because somebody decided to give me their printer. Why? Why do I have to expire? So it has to be used because it must be cheaper. Otherwise, it will not work for them. So they brought me a printer, two cartridges. I printed everything that Sunlight wanted me to print and I was satisfied and I thank God for it. That was a miracle. I could not afford a what? A printer, but God made a way. Of course, my wife is preempting the testimonies of tomorrow. Yes. But I'm sure there's too many testimonies. So tomorrow she will not lack a testimony <laughs> to give. Um, the physical development, you see, all faculties are strengthened by exercise. Children and youth who are kept at school and confined to books cannot have sound physical constitutions because what they need to exercise. If you've just been kept in, in classrooms, you cannot. The exercise of the brain in study without corresponding physical exercise has a tendency to attract the blood to the brain. And the circulation of the blood through the system becomes unbalanced. Challenge he even want I made my better more face. Mina, we don't know, but we have it. We tax our brains too much. You're thinking, you're writing reports, you are doing all these things, and yet your body has no corresponding physical activity. confined one being indoors. Bank, for example, the whole day you are inside, you didn't get a chance to get outside at any point. I would know your body is constitution, you are unbalancing it. There's too much blood going to your head. Because there's just too much blood going to your brain. Mm -hmm. It continues, the brain has too much blood and the extremities have very, very little blood because all the blood is going to your head. There should be rules regarding regulating the studies of children and youth to certain hours. And then a portion of their time should be spent in physical labor. As you can impart Oma Bangazi in Tuno Subano physically, as I go Kara confined Kungo Kara Basi. Out of the habits of eating, dressing, and sleeping are in accordance with physical law, they can obtain an education without sacrificing physical and mental health. The world right now says it doesn't matter whether you lose your physical health as long as you get the mental. I hope you agree. Because that's how the world is structured right now. It doesn't matter what you lose in the process. Even if it's a, a child or even Munhurin Duanguru, whether you lose your health as you're trying to pursue a degree, it doesn't matter. The world is going to clap hands at you. But the testimonies are saying you don't have to. You don't have to sacrifice your mental and your physical because you're trying to pursue certain achievements. You have to have all these things in their proper balance. It continues. Various industries should be carried on in our schools. More cancer. The industry of instruction given should include the keeping of accounts, carpentry, and all that is comprehended in farming. You see, God is not trying to restrict. Could you get a little joke? Family did come back from schooling, then all these things. Pen and Kanimagan go tell a good Funana, but as a gang or Lima Munda, there are suggestions given. Even accounts, carpent, Nanga, I didn't comprehend what is going on in the family, keeping accounts. What is happening? There is so much that can be done. Dimini, we are to eat it. Preparation should be made for the teaching of blacksmith, painting, shoemaking. And cooking, baking, washing, mending, typewriting, <coughs> and printing. There are so many suggestions being given there. Jimine Mana too can participate as we are doing our homeschool. Every power at our command is to be brought into this training work. That students may go forth well equipped for the duties of a practical life. So one rule of thumb for a homeschooling parent, practical life should be on top of your agenda. Prepare your child for practical usefulness in this life. Yes, we are preparing a children to stand true to God in the investigative judgment. Yes, we want them to be found in the course of glory. But that process will also ensure they are prepared for the practical duties of life. Chabambari. If I want to type writing, even printing, baking, cooking, washing, mending, all these things. 
and as opportunity permits, it is not a rule. But as opportunity permits you, you will see what aligns with you. It is a No. Okay. The outdoor, outdoor mm. activities of gardening and all these things. Manual training. A larger number of young people need to have the advantages of our schools. They need the manual training course, which will teach them how to live an active, energetic life. Under wise, judicious, God-fearing directors, the students are to be taught different kinds of labor. Every branch of the work is to be conducted in the most thorough, systematic way that long experience and wisdom can, en can enable us to plan and execute. I will come up with my institutions, uh, even in our institutions. Could we get deliberate plans to have manual training? And if you remember why many Malamugis work, you know, this was a very good item in many Majitika. Gardening, even the Zamagapent, and all these things. There was, there was deliberate effort to include some of these things in the training uh, curriculum. When children reach a suitable age, they should be provided with tools. If their work is made interesting, they'll be found apt pupils in the use of tools. If the father is a carpenter, he should give his boys lessons in house building, ever bringing into his instruction lessons from the Bible, the words of the scripture in which the Lord compares human beings to his building. Let us let them handle tools. Apunzi saying how to handle tools. They need to become exposed. Komana wote as the age of that child is going to be suitable. So there are certain tools. Sunga mu musi ane mwana ya. Kaji drilling machine. Jau kapen tuji jaj. Sunga mu musi ne chief ane jime ne tuji jaj. The age is just not suitable to handle something like that. Komali sa jime na kala baba uta. Waba sa jime drilling machine. Jau kapen. They they can do things with those things, but suitable age is the key word. A child needs to know how to use tools. Komaso, Zinazi, it, you have to understand your child's interests. Yes. If it means the mwana na ukufuna kapen, mwaka zigulati mupunzeri mozi. That's how you end up learning along. So in as much as this council, Zina Pesot, it's for institutes, but if you are going to do it at home, plan along the way, Zinazi, mwzi karanaso. Maka bata ma ama choka. Mwana zisa odani, azita hukonza. So you end up needing to apply the principles. If you as the parent don't know, you need also what? To learn and apply yourself. The way my daughter is going to grab screwdrivers and all these things, it tells me I need to buy a proper toolbox. So it begins to guide you. Okay, I think we need the... So it's important. Uh, boys as well as girls, but I would deserve a training once a year. Fathers, you should should train their sons to engage them in their trades and employments. Yes. Farmers should not think that agriculture is a business that is not elevated enough for their sons. Agriculture should be advanced by scientific knowledge. Did, did you hear that quotation? Does it align with how people think today? Yes. The world is beginning to catch up. But these councils were given a long time. Our gamba is special on agriculture. Our good agriculture should be advanced by scientific knowledge. Even the business side of agriculture. People are beginning to slowly catch up. What do you say agriculture is for you? If well managed, well calculated, well planned, it will have even a career amana or to such a major way say being agriculture. Because quite fair that agriculture not in the Nagasaka with a muda, Mugarima, Mugadere, and then you say, No, this agriculture, it's quite laborious and boring for that child. But if it's something that now we're beginning to learn and understand and execute it well, which you want to introduce a unique potential, you don't call even a branch which even a child can prefer. Good enough, I want to do agriculture. For my good fathers, should you train their sons to engage with them in their trades of employment? So, Mr. Jisala, I don't know how we are going to do this. Uh, in our trades of employment, would you familiarize? I'll tell you what I do with my daughters. 
Me, my, my work is a lot of design. I work with design softwares, like uh, the drawing softwares and so on. So I've introduced my daughters to those things. So Agamemnon first said, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, what I'm doing? This is what I'm doing. I'll give them the mouse, mouse in the E. This is how you draw a line. This is how you cut it. This is how you make a triangle. This is how you do this. So for no reason, I'll come in and drag it the computer. I need to draw, I need to draw. So they're beginning to draw. They're making shapes and all these things. Per adventure, I will be having an architect in the home without me knowing. So God says, introduce them first to the trade. Many way of machita. Not would you force them into that trade. I hope we're understanding each other. Mm -hmm. But introduce them. What does your father do? As I'm completely lost, could I have no idea what my father is? I have no idea what he does. I have no idea where he goes for weeks. That is not how God is guiding us here. Introduce your child to the trade in whatever you do. As it is what you mean, exposure to what you do. If you're a farmer, introduce and embrace the fact that you are a farmer. You are a carpenter and you are whatever it is, manager, expose that child. What does your father do? My father goes to work. Hey, what does your father do? He goes to work. What exactly does he do? He goes somewhere out there, but he goes to work. And that's what the child knows. It's not supposed to be like that. For the lady students, there are many employments which should be provided that they may have a comprehensive and practical education. Mm -hmm. They should be taught dressmaking mm -hmm. and gardening. Mm -hmm. Flowers should be cultivated and strawberries planted. Mm -hmm. Thus, while being educated in useful labor, yes. they will have a healthful outdoor exercise. My Book my binding God. and a variety of other trades mm -hmm. should be taught, which will not only furnish physical exercise, yes. but will impart valuable knowledge. I like how balanced God puts all these things. This is child guidance, okay? I mean, this, okay, this, this is councils. Uh, I would teach the young girls dressmaking, gardening. I was happy to see one of our friends, Amone also get a Maya dress. So the child has learned how to make dresses and as many dresses for the man, okay? Are these strawberries that will be planted? And that is just an example of many things that can be done. So I want to get into a physical activity which is beneficial in many ways and you're going to achieve many, many ways from there. But physical exercise, but also achievement. Our uh, Nijema Lino is the guy. This was the, what was this again again? That thing that was cooked, this one. It's tomato and whatever. Tomato paneer. Tomato paneer. Uh, learning how to cook and all these things. It, it affords physical exercise, it affords the enjoyment. But something is being learned in the process as these activities are happening. Do not neglect to teach your children how to cook. In so doing, we impart to them principles which they must have in their religious education. Hmm. In giving your children lessons in psychology, hmm. physiology, hmm. and teaching them how to cook with simplicity and yet with skill, yes. you are laying the foundation for the rise of education. Yes. Skill is required to make good white bread. Oh, yeah. There is relig religion in good cooking. Mm. And I question the religion of that class who are too ignorant and too careless mm. to learn to cook. Amen as mine. Aish, I would in your religious education, cooking a Uyghur as part and parcel of your religious education. I put it, there's a lot of religion in a loaf of bread. That's what even Sister White also says. So I don't neglect to teach your children how to cook. In the previous presentation, they can be annoying in the kitchen. Let's be honest. Even my wife is also learning. Yeah, that was a great. But let's not neglect to teach them to cook. I've got enough in kitchen in Monday too. I've graded my garage too. They are learning something so valuable in their lives. And it will be with them for the rest of their lives. And I thank God that the girls are learning uh, how to cook. So I will don't neglect. As this one, don't neglect.
Let them be there. Ajipa wabwere. Azipo nya uje all over the place. Don't neglect to teach them to, 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 to go. Instruct them patiently and cheerfully. Instruct them patiently and cheerfully. Instruct them cheerfully. God is saying, instruct them cheerfully. Continue. Mothers should take their daughters into the kitchen with them when very young and teach them the art of cooking. Yes. The mother cannot expect her daughters to understand the mysteries of housekeeping without education. Correct. She should instruct them patiently, lovingly, and make the work as agreeable as she can by her cheerful countenance and encouraging words of approval. <laughs> Why has happened here? Ah, it's fine, it happens. Wait, uh, let's go and continue doing other things. Cheerfully and lovingly. Come on, to I get to my car. I wouldn't make it agreeable. Listen, I'm being here now, I'm at home kitchen because the kitchen is not an agreeable place. I got where I'm in my car, I'm in a way, 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 I'm in a Ah, uh, it's not supposed to be like that. L let's make the kitchen an agreeable place. Do you want to pass us some task? You're going to do it. You move away. You want to pass it to water melon? You don't do it. Abare, no, no, I cannot cut the water melon. I'm bitter about it. You're just going to do it. So the more you task a child like that, the more they will hate the kitchen. You know what? I'm going to. You can have it. I think we will pass us on the time of so you do the tough part and give the child to do the right. Men as well as all women need to understand the simple, helpful preparation of food. Uh -huh. Their business often causes them where they cannot obtain wholesome food. Yes. Then if they have a knowledge of cookery, yes. they will use it to good purpose. Yes. Both young men and young women should be taught how to cook economically yes. and to dispense with everything in the line of flesh food. So it's important to know how to cook. For example, we are here and we are in this, uh, some of us are lodging here and so on. Now, if you don't agree with the food they are giving you, I would have the skill which you have learned how to cook. You simply say, you know what? Some of us, when our wives are sick, we say, because we don't know how to cook. So these young men, they need to be taught how to cook economically and dispense with the flesh and they should know how to cook. If need be, yeah. a young woman can dispense with a knowledge of French and algebra. And if need be, the knowledge of French and algebra or even of the piano. Or even of the piano. You can dispense with this all together. But it is indispensable that she learn to make good bread. Amen. It is indispensable. But many of your brothers, I'm a woman of a degree in engineering and whatever, but do you not make bread? Do you not cook? Do you not clean your house? Do you not take care of it? No. God is saying, no, that's not the right way. You flip the coin. Bread when you're more than and I'm going to be from zero to finish. God says, no, I will how to make good bread. To fashion neatly fitting garments yes. and to perform efficiently the many duties that pertain to homemaking. As if one is even to use the sewing machine. We are trying by God's grace to give an education. So as parents, let's do what let's focus on the basics first. Homemaking, knowing how to make good bread, knowing how to cook, those are very important. I will not mention uh, my, the, somebody who I know, what is somebody who I know was married, but the wife Nice was a degree, was a professional. So it will come from work. So the wife would also sit on the couch, husband is also sitting on the couch. All of them are catching up on the newspapers. They can't be doing exactly what they did. Eventually, that marriage did not go for too long. Because the wife in the kitchen was not her place. <laughs> she, she felt there should be somebody else in there and not her. 
laziness and indol indolence are not the fruit born upon the Christian tree. Mm. Okay, laziness and indolence, I think they are not the fruit that should be born upon the Christian tree. I see it's not it's not in the order of God first to be lazy and indolent. Indolence is a great curse. God has blessed human beings with nerves, organs, and muscles, and they are not to be allowed to, to deteriorate because of inaction, but are to be strengthened and kept in health by exercise. To have nothing to do is a great misfortune, for idleness ever has been and ever will be a curse to the human family. This cannot be overemphasized. You can't be saying as a woman or as a man, you, you can't be saying that. that it is a curse. The Children that. never prove unfaithful stewards in the home. Never shrink your duty. Good hard work makes firm sinews and muscles. In promoting the prospect of the home, you bring the richest blessing to yourself. This one is a direct counsel to the children. And it don't prove to be unfaithful stewards. It produces and the rust, the body becomes firm and you do produce muscles in the process why work before play my mother taught me to work i used to ask my mother why must i always do so much work before i play it is to educate and train your mind for useful labor and another thing to keep you out of mischief and when you get older you will thank me for it when one of my little girls a granddaughter said to me why must i need grandmother's need i replied Will you tell me how grandmothers learned to knit? Why they, why they began when they were little girls? You see now what's going on here. The things that the child is going to see the parents do is what they are going to be doing. I wanna, they are knitting and all these things. I put this in other I wanna, I while they are young. And as they grow, they grow into these habits. But they are taught to, uh, no, you need to do some useful activity before you go out and play. And the child needs to know this. From start to finish, that is not going to be very helpful. Uh, from nine years and above, there's another schedule which is slightly different from the other one. It incorporates a little bit more acti of activities, but it's simply just adapted uh, from the first one. It's not very different from the other one. Koma, so you join us at Mwana Ewa in Bagutuka Mamawa. Agutuka five. Muntusa ugona so seven I ugona chama eight. So you have you have created a, a frame. Your mumukulondola. What are the things you want to learn and to teach each other? What are the skills that are a mandate or that God has assigned? Would at least is this one azitan azita kuzitziwa. So now you switch your your ideal your your previous time zone ya sinta. Muntu jawatani wakula. Ndeguti ma subject ajano ayamba kulowa from 10. And if you notice, the subjects are mainly taught for 2 hours or 3 hours maximum. So, my no pita meno wabu kama punsa mental work. Otherwise, you drain the whole being. Simpanga chiri chose. O muzi kanga tuti mulu skuri yo mwana winari ya sama pita watama pita wa skuri. Tigulo se. Kubwela kumene kuje mwana watane. So you are balancing the art of practical work, the life skills, and the school, and also the breaks in between. This is also the schedule. I asked the friend again to send a revised schedule. This is what she has done. Could at least 5 a.m. by my personal devotion for, for her kids. Could also have a chama five. Family worship, kayamazi before breakfast and so for during for breakfast. Thirty minutes before. If you train the child from babyhood, but then now she has included the academics, how she is going what? to do them in her home. You can make your own timetable. Nkumaona minu kwa nukukuliri. Uma kama sisi nina kutuku matenta kwa mbili. It's either they do the school very early in the morning or mazuru. It is still fine. Kani ndiyoti, you need to achieve what you want to achieve for that season of life. We can say how comprehensive the person has attempted. 
kuzipata zinduzo ni mene moyo uli gardening nature outdoor garden ya pangono ka nature woko tima mathematics kutulo mesa life science chonjo ndimi chumene iye ya ufuna kwa nga achieve oha chao so for this student you see uh, there is bible character nature kwa mwono palo wama itima academics and palwaso itima practical life skills so the order they get they need to be able to do missionary work and apply their practical arts and apply their practical skills a a little bit more and if parents or child desires higher learning it has uh, it has to be considered prayerfully and uh, may that be a mission field for the child and also not everyone will go to mission places but everyone can be a missionary in the area god has assigned them to be so aga hapa kukula a little bit more zukumbo kumbo zao zimamba kusinta what you can do with them is also different palo wa academics abati marize ndi verse e and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up my own no schedule i hope how we are to teach our children when we are supposed to teach our children maona kuti apanga encompass everything you will teach them when you sit usually when you sit makadu panga nyaya in our homes when we sit what are you usually doing eating that's usually the eating time isn't it so when you are eating you need to apply whatever practical lessons you can teach kaya mukutula chintu kaya mukutani ntayo mpanga nkhani za masamu kaya jan on the table right there you having an academic lesson bomb po a spiritual lesson in bomb po akuti as you sit in your house even as you walk by the way mukuyenda mukudumba ma 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 boxes they must say let's be counting the boxes as we step on them 1 2 3 you are moving you are living your life but as you live your life you are capitalizing to educate your child you are counting the blocks that you're moving and all these things akuti you should also teach them as you lie down tayo kabona as you give the child the bible or studies i mean the bedtime stories you can have a practical life lesson there that you can teach what is that over what do we need to rest so god does not say only teach your child mukazu because i would as you even go to sleep agamazu kaso mama so it means that has gone all full circle as you rise up as you sit as you walk as you do activities as you sleep you can be asked so one other thing a, a clue we can give one another here is this not all children learn the very same way mm-hmm. they as a parent you need to see kuti ah we which mean akumaya njana nacho kwambiri is a, a better explanation or oh, no maybe the father mother should explain or oh, no maybe the bank itapita ita banja ndicho ndazika ona mitengo azikona chani akachimvesesa ndi as a parent gauge your child chimene ama mvabu ino ndichiticho when you dealing with particular items ena without the practical jochi tika chosamba kena kali kwa kupanda kutenga makapo follow kwa ika mara mozi chosawili asalangati samba kena kali kwa se not everybody has an abstract mind other zamba funa zida kuona ni maswa o so we cannot give each other a rule kuti mwana umene kwa zungu mpusisa jochi you can try so many ways use nature use what use this whichever works as long as you get what you want across to the child you can finish when the judgment seat and the books shall be opened when the well done of the great judge is pronounced and the crown of immortal glory is placed upon the brow of the victory many will raise their crowns in the sight of the assembled universe and pointing to their mothers say she made me all i am through the grace of god her instruction her prayers have blessed have been blessed to my eternal salvation these are the words which god has promised kuti tikagwira chito imo kulikira mungwa kumamba kuti the children themselves now will point to you the mother especially kuti because of my mother that is why i am here if there is we should stop here uh if there is a burning comment uh, or a question that needs to be made let's just open the floor a little bit before we disperse 
Is there a burning comment or question? It seems the lesson has been heard very well. Or where? Yes, ma'am. So if we live that life, if we practice Makai to practice a minute, my lesson I'm making Maka now. This is the Putin and Chino Yambi, Mene, because Tima Yona that he, your true biotic and his active one is a work of his Correct, correct. A any other comments? Okay, I think we can close our eyes for the prayer. We can pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the beautiful Sabbath that you gave us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the lessons that you've taught us on how we can plan our lives for our children from as early as zero and all the way up. Lord, we still seek your presence that in our homes we may plan ourselves to suit the schedule that will bring a blessing to us and our children. And Heavenly Father, as we break, we pray that you go before us and you guide us. And Heavenly Father, we'll continue also to pray for the food that will be provided for us this evening. Lord, may it be a blessing unto our bodies, that it may nourish our bodies and give us good health and strength. For the glory of your name, for this our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.